Today, we're doing back to basics kind of stuff. I happen to be out of taco seasoning and I wanna show you how to make taco seasoning yourself, keto friendly. Also point out to you why you should probably invest in the, in the supplies to make your own. Um, I was reading on the back of the packages of the like the different seasoning mixes the taco seasoning sloppy joe's chili and all of that and they all contain on this particular one which happens to be a sloppy joe it has sugar that's the very first thing which means it's the most the biggest ingredient in there it's got the most in it there's maltodextrin there's uh, cornstarch a bunch of things that keto people don't need to have in their system that's a bunch of extra carbs that you have to count that you shouldn't have to count there's other things I would rather eat than cornstarch that counts as, as carbs. Um, I know that a lot of taco seasonings have flour and cornstarch as one of the, the two of the main ingredients in them. So this is why you want to make your own. And you, we'll give you this recipe that we're fixing to show you right now. But also know that if you like more cayenne pepper, put more cayenne pepper in it. If you like the, the flavor of the cumin, which to me smells like stinky feet, tastes great, just smells like stinky feet, add more cumin, add um, like minced onion or whatever that makes, you, after you make it once and you can decide, hey, I like this or I don't care for that or whatever, make it your own. But this is the basic recipe that we're going to start off with to make it in bulk. This will make um, 16 tablespoons and you use two tablespoons per pound of meat. So this will make eight servings, eight packages, eight of these um, for, your, for your recipe. So to start off with, it's 12 tablespoons, which is the equivalent of three quarters of a cup of chili powder. And it's two and a half tablespoons of cumin. It's two tablespoons of paprika. I nearly forgot what that was. It's four teaspoons of garlic powder, which is one tablespoon plus one teaspoon. Same with onion powder four teaspoons, which is one tablespoon plus one teaspoon, two teaspoons of black pepper. And to be quite honest, this particular recipe only called for a quarter teaspoon of cayenne, but we like things kind of spicy around here. So this is a whole, this is a whole teaspoon of cayenne pepper right here. So you're gonna do the super hard part of stirring and not out of the bowl. Remember, add the spices that make you happy, that float your boat. God, this smells good. It smells like Taco Bell seasoning. Okay, so mix it until you got it all mixed up and it looks to be roughly the same uniform color throughout, which of course will be red, brown, whatever you want to call it and then scoop it into your jar. That's it, super easy. But you know, when you make this for your family, this doesn't have preservatives and junk in it. You know exactly what went in here. And you can, you can rest assured that you're not feeding your family a bunch of junk that they don't need. Let me not make a mess. And again, you're gonna use two tablespoons. This happens to be a two tablespoon measuring cup, but two tablespoons um, per one pound of meat. And you will use it just like you would use the packet in the store, add your quarter to a half cup of water and simmer until the water is absorbed and you're good to go. Um, I've been making my own taco seasoning now for Longer than what I've been on keto, just because I don't like all the extra junk they put in there. Um, that's just me. But I I like the the power that it gives me to be in control of what goes into my body 
and not have a bunch of preservatives and junk that I'm adding to it. So, then from here, if you're fancy, you can get one of them cute little labels and a little chalk pen. You can write on their taco seasoning, or you may not be an idiot, and you can look at it, and you can say, hey, that's my taco seasoning. But that's all there is to it. No junk, no preservatives, completely keto-friendly, and that's all there is to it. So... I'm going to I'm going to also be looking for more recipes to do other commonly used spice blends like Italian seasoning and I found one the other day that I'm really interested to try. I haven't tried it yet and I want to try it before I share it with you. It's a barbecue rub spice blend that's keto friendly and I want to try that too. And when I do, I will let you know. But until then, if you have any comments or questions, put them below and um see you love you bye.